In today's video, I want to share with you one of my favorite running plays in Madden 21. As the meta is shifting from pass to run, there's some things I'd like you guys to consider with the uh, runs that are kind of counter to the meta. Most people aren't using them, and I just wanted to share this with you real quick. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, my name is Cody, and I make four to five videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you uh, kind of get better, give you different things to think about, maybe something that you've never tried before, um, and really just trying to help. Honestly, uh, as I get better, I believe that I can help people get better and honestly this channel doing this every single day has helped me become a lot more effective and a lot better as a Madden player so I just want to thank you guys so much for your support and if you're really interested in joining the team here on my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen we have a great community here we also have a great community over on discord where you can get your questions answered and kind of meet new people and talk Madden 21 at a high level and if you're interested in doing that you can join the discord by clicking the link in the description all right, guys, I want to talk about Emmett Smith's favorite running play. Um, Emmett Smith, running back for the Cowboys, um, loved to run the lead draw. And the lead draw this year, uh, draw runs in general are really, really good. Uh, quarterback draws are phenomenal. But I wanted to talk a minute about the HB lead draw. And we're going to go against random defenses at start, and then I want to also go against a very specific defense. But what you'll see with this lead draw is basically it's going to be a nice delayed handoff, and it's going to allow you time to essentially be able to read, do I want to cut it to the right, to the left, or to the middle of the field? So if they're blitzing everybody at you, all the blitzers are going to go right down the middle. As you see here, if they're blitzing you off the edge, it's going to open up running lanes. Essentially what the defense is going to have to understand is they're really not going to be able to do um, heavy, heavy pressure. But the thing is, if they're running against this formation, they're going to be expecting you to run dive or they're going to be expecting you to run the stretch run. But if you spring this run on them, then what's going to happen is they're going to start blitzing. They're going to start blitzing a lot of people. And if they start blitzing a lot of people, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to audible to this little HB dive alert bubble and hit the bubble screen. So they're really not going to be able to blitz people um, even though they want to. What's really cool about this uh, specific run play is the tight end blocks um, like he's going on going out on a passing route. So anyone that is in coverage, whether they're in man coverage or zone coverage, they're going to go back at the snap of the ball. They're not going to come forward. That's huge. That is honestly one of the biggest reasons why this is such an effective run this year because if they're not blitzing, they're not going forward. And if they're not going forward, they're not going to be able to stop this run. This run's going to consistently get you three to five to four yards every single time. Now, what's cool about it is you can playmaker to the left. And I actually think it works a little bit better when you playmaker to the left because you can cut it back to the right very, very easily because draw runs, I think, give you the most control over the running back. So like right here, I could go to the left. And there I made a bad cut, but I could have cut that out to the left. So, you know, this run overall is really good, especially against like the nickel, um, the meta defenses that you're going to go up against. That's what I want to talk about now. I want to shift gears and talk about some of the meta run defenses that you're going to face. Most of them being out of nickel, uh, most of them being out of either nickel 335 or nickel 335 wide. So I want to talk specifically about nickel 335 wide. And most, this is what's really good about this play. Most man defenses are not going to be very effective against this run play. So you're going to be able to run this against pretty much any man-to-man -man defense. So like right, you see right here, we're just going to go with the meta run D right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to spy our safeties, right? This is in general a pretty good run defense. But what you'll see is, you're, you're going to actually be able to the, – the defense is going to kind of crash to the middle of the field. Now, also, if they pass commit, I do want to show you what happens if they pass commit. Most of the time people will do pass commit because they want to get in against play action. What you'll see here is I can run it out to the right. Look at it. Completely glitches out the entire defense, and you're able to go for about 15 to 20 yards. That's – that's what the draw does. Um, the draw is just a very glitchy uh, run. I don't know if it's necessarily glitchy. Let's just say it's effective. I mean, because I don't know if there's really a glitch to it. It's just kind of working the way it's supposed to. Everyone crashes to the middle of the field, and then you can kind of cut to the outside. Now, you won't be able to make that cut every single time with, like, a Mark Ingram. But in Mud, if you have, like, a Barry Sanders, this is going to work very consistently. You see, this is the meta defense. This is my run defense. I mean, this is... Um, you know, I do a couple other little things here from the 3-3-5 wide, but this is one of the run defenses that I really think works really well. And as you can see, this draw is just killing it for 15, 20 yards every single time. Uh, let me show you what happens as well um, when we blitz. So if we blitz everybody, let me show you that as well. We got the spies, we got the blitzes, and we have everybody manned up. Uh, what you're going to see is 
you know, you're, you're still going to be able to kind of work through it. Again, sometimes they'll shoot the gap and sometimes they'll make a masterful play on you. Um, but for the most part, I find that this run play specifically does a really, really good job against this type of defense. See how I can kind of get through with Mark Ingram. And it's kind of a hit or miss run. But if you get through, and the thing is, usering the halfback draw is not as easy as you would think. If they try to just use or blow it up, you're going you're gonna to be very, very good uh, against it. And you see here, you have time to cut back. What I like about what happens is it takes the – the draw runs take the cornerbacks completely out of the play. So watch the cornerbacks on the left side. They're not in the play. They're not going to be able to do anything. So I actually have time to be able to make aggressive cuts to the outside. I can cut to the left. I can cut to the right. The corners aren't going to shed. Um, and what's also really important for you when you run this, when you start running the draw, you have to understand that your linemen are pass blocking. They're not run blocking. And so – they're not going to give up as many sheds as you would think, and you can actually slide protect these runs. Um, that time it did not work very well, but you can slide to the right or to the left, and it actually makes a difference. See here, let me show you real quick. This is what the play looks like stock. I'm going to slide to the right, and look, the play art completely changes. Everybody's going to shift over to the right one, and you're going to be able to basically get better blocking off the right edge. You can do that on the left edge as well, um, and then you can do something as simple as like max protecting. You can ID guys, and they'll actually block them this year, which is really, really cool um, feature of this. And I think, I really feel like with the lead draw, they will hold their blocks most of the time pretty well. Um, most of the time, you know, and, and like right here, Preston Smith's able to come in untouched. You know, that's why we, uh, against this specific defense, we'd probably run it more to the out, uh, to the right side. But what you'll see here is you can pretty much, and you can slide backside as well. Like if you want to, like if you want to run to the right and you want to slide to the left, you'll see that that's going to create another interesting dynamic for your offense. And I'm just kind of butchering my cuts right now with Mark Ingram. But this is a really, really good run. I wanted to share this with you. And the biggest reason I wanted to share it with you is because against a lot of the meta defenses, like if they're running man-to-man -man on you, this is going to kill man-to-man. -man. You can't run man-to-man -man on this. Um, zone's going to work a little bit better. Um, but what I like is it really does a good job of controlling any type of block shed. There's really no block shed that's going to happen. They're not going to be able to block shed as long as you don't click turbo. The one thing I do want you to take away from this video is when you're running through with your running back, do not hit turbo. If you hit the turbo button, they're going to block shed. But if you don't hit the turbo button, you'll see you're not going to get these block sheds. You see, I can consistently work up against this now let me show you what happens if they run commit i just want to show kind of what happens this is a run commit and you see they are able to stop it if they run commit but what's good about this uh i form formation out of this out of the um out of the i form uh, out of the west coast playbook is if they run commit well you can run stretch and you see here stretch is going to get you a couple yards what's nice about stretch and dive two out of this specific formation is it is tagged to a bubble screen. So if I see run commit, I can just throw the bubble screen and it's an automatic touchdown um, for my offense. So this is just a really, really good offensive scheme in general, but it's really, really effective when you start mixing in the lead draw because the lead draw, I just think that you get, the block shed rates on draw plays are significantly lower than the block shed rates on stretch plays. And the, even the block red, block shed rates on stretch plays are, you see the difference. You see how the corners kind of come up. They come up against the stretch, whereas the draw, their first step is back, and you can easily, you know, once you've got a step on them, you can double juke them out of their shoes. Um, so, you know, that's just something I wanted to share. Uh, it's a really, really good run play, guys. If you want to pick up a personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I can unpack this a little bit more with you, or I can talk a little bit more about whatever you need to talk about in Madden. Um, that, to me, is one of the best ways that you can get better. We have those on sale in the description of this video. We have 30-minute and 60-minute coaching sessions available, and I'm telling you right now, when people purchase a coaching session, I think they think a lot of things, but when they walk out of a coaching session with me, I think they always believe that they got more than they paid for and they became such a much better player. Um, there's been a couple ones that I've done so far, and every time I play the person, I find that they have improved drastically just because of the coaching session. So if you haven't picked up one of those, I would encourage you to do that right now. They're on sale in the description. Also, guys, you can text me your questions anytime. My number is 812 
216-3644. We've got some more videos coming on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell icon on. There's some videos for you to check out on your screen right now, and we will also be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'll see you tonight on YouTube.